Hello guys, my name is FX and welcome back to Mafia 2. We've just got woken up by a doorbell. Beautiful, beats my alarm. Right, let's continue. Who's at the door now? At this time of the bloody morning. Change your clothes, you can't find them in the wardrobe. You can't find them, you got Oh my god. Right, that'll do. Anything to answer the door, you're not heard of a bathrobe. Hey, Vito. Long time no see. Who the yeah. hell are you? <laughs> Long time. What do you want, Henry? Oh, that's a the drink. one. Let's take my car. Ten a bit says I'm driving your car, cause that's logical, isn't it? Well, I guess you know Clemente's dead, along with no. everybody else. The hell up in there? I know Falcone had something to do with this. You sure you want to get in? Man, yeah, I won't blame you. You saying you want to join up with us? Yeah, and since you work for him, I thought uh, maybe. He wants me to put in a good life. word, doesn't yeah, he? Sure. How's life? You mean before or after half the guys I know got killed? That business at the hotel. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Got no, idea no I wasn't there. That's I wasn't funny. there in a fake moustache. No, not at all. Right, like head down. Day. Head down, Joe. Vito. Bullet! What are you talking about? You know, that fucking kid used to come at the Freddy's with Joe all the time. What's his name? Uh, Mikey, uh, Mickey, whatever the fuck his name was. Marty, Marty, dickhead. Yeah, yeah, that's the kid. Get a voice like fucking Minnie Mouse. Yeah, yeah, I heard about that. So you sure you weren't there that day? You're positive. Why are you trying to say Henry? Me and Joe were out if that is your real name. That's all I'm gonna say. You know what? It don't matter anyway. But do me a favor, would you? Yeah, sure. Next time get a better disguise than a phony fucking mustache. <laughs> I saw you two touch from a mile away. You know what? Can we please not talk about this right now? Wherever again? Don't worry about it. Do we had it though? Oh, hello, Garson. Still playing the tunes. <laughs> Where are we going? He's sitting down. Beautiful. Take a load off. Hey, Why not? Hey, not like you've been working hard. Right, what do you me? want now? I always keep my word, don't I? Here you go. Uh. I'll spend it all in one place. Thanks. Where's Joe? Uh, he was here before, but then he left. Looked pissed off. Though lately, he always looks pissed off. Yeah, can you blame him? Listen, uh, I need to talk to you about something. Well, what, is it important? I'm busy with Vinci right now. He's planning to make a move on us, and we don't know how or why. I, I, I gotta sort this shit out. Yeah, well, I think it's worth hearing me out. All right, go ahead, but make it quick. All right, the guy I know who worked for Clemente called me. He's worried. He's not sure if we'll be going after the rest of Clemente's guys or not. <laughs> oh, that's good. As far as I know, the boss ain't planning nothing at this point, unless they try something stupid. Okay, well, this guy also asked me if he could come work for us. Yeah? Who is it? Who is he, a friend of yours? I did a few jobs with him for Clemente. Really knows his shit. <sighs> okay, tell him to stop by. <sighs> well, uh, he's here right now. <laughs> he is? All right. Go get him, then. Eddie, this is Henry Tomasino. Henry, this is Eddie Scarpa. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Scarpa. Don't call me Mr. Scarpa. My friends call me Eddie. Now, take a seat, Henry. So... Vito tells me you want to join up with us. Yeah, I'm out of work right now. And I don't want to make a big deal out of what happened. Now that's good thinking. Tell me something first, Henry. Were Clemente and Vinci planning anything against our organization? <sighs> okay. I usually keep my nose out of things like that. But I was with Luca Garino once at Leo Galanti's place, and Luca was going on and on about Falcone being involved in some dirty business and that something should be done about it. I think he was trying to turn Vinci against you. That bastard. I'll bet he was talking about drugs all the while he's dealing them himself. He knows that Vinci is totally against us. Yeah, probably fooled the old man good. So that's why he's planning to move on us. Now we gotta hit him first. Again? Hey, if we don't act, Frank will. First, we gotta get rid of Galante. Without him, Frank's fucked. Yo. I wanted to keep you. Oh, I've got to kill Leo. I didn't have anybody else who could pull off a job like Balls. this? Balls. Now I'm thinking this could be the perfect opportunity for Henry here to prove himself. What do you say? Oh, Henry's got to do it. It's all right. It. It's fine. It it's good. And then when the job's done, sure. Exactly. Take care of Leo. And what about you, Vito? I'd feel a lot better if you went with Henry to make sure everything goes. Oh, smooth. of course he would. I'll I drive. Is there anything I'm good for in this game? And I can't even do that. Until it's done, and drive back. But if it don't feel right, I can ask somebody else instead. What do you say? Sorry, Eddie, I can't do this. Leo was like a father to me back in the can. Yeah, I understand. Well, it looks like you gotta take care of this yourself, Henry. You can hire some help if you want, but you gotta do this so nobody suspects it was us. Leo lives in Highbrook. Got it, don't worry. It'll be done today. Okay, you better get going then. See you later, Eddie. 
What about me? See you later, you Henry. Brought him here. <laughs> Even if he screws up, nobody will know it was us. I don't think Henry's gonna screw it up. That's good. Well, Vito, I got nothing else for you today, but uh, drop by tomorrow, okay? Yeah. I'll see you later. Eddie. See you. Laters? Warn Leo? What? Can I not pick up a phone and do that? Oh, where's that car gone? Where's where's my car gone? Oh, I'm being robbed. I'm being buggered here. Get in. Oh, you can't worry about that now. You can't worry about that, mate. You gotta do your thing. There you go. Right, get in. Get in. Piss off. No, no, you're not gonna. You're not gonna open the door. You're not gonna open the door. Cause, oh, apparently you are gonna open the door. Right, get your gun out and shoot him. Take. Bribe bollocks. Just hurry up and get to Leo. I'm already wasting time. All right, in a bit. Get up. Get your gun. Get your gun. And get in air car. <laughs> Michael. No, no, he stopped you again, you dickhead. Gonna bribe him again. No. Bollocks. Right, get in the car and go. You've already wasted half an hour, you tit. How do you put the light on? How do you put the light on? I can't put the light on. This is bullshit. Oh, there you go. It's right. This right arrow. Why would it be right? Directional pad. All right, I'm not complaining. The police will shoot me on sight. What else is frigging new? Oh my god, this handle's worse than my banger. Jesus Christ. Go. I need a one, Leo. Well, this is going well, isn't it? This is going really smooth. How far away is it? Oh my god, I'm not gonna make it. Come on, you need to concentrate now. Move. What? Part of red flashing light and sirens, do you not understand about getting out the way? Dickhead. Bollocks, he's dead. He's fucked. Bollocks. The fucking policeman. Stopping me, twats. Oh, fucking get in. Nice one. I don't even have to lockpick that because there's no roof. Oh, bobs. Bobs. Bollocks is what. What? I can't even form words. Leo, I'm coming to save the day, mate. Oh, sorry about your post box. Oh, sorry about your gate. Leo! <sighs> Leo, you here? How the hell did you get in here? Get out of here! Oh, shut Leo, Leo, up put here. it away. It's me, Vito. Vito? What the hell are you doing here? You could have called Leo, me. there's no time to talk. You gotta get out of here. Quick, they're after you. What? Come upstairs, Vito. My feet are getting cold. You want a drink? Oh, I want a drink. What the fuck is wrong okay, with you? Okay, so what's happening? Look, Falcone wants you dead. The guys are on their way. You gotta get out of here. Why the hell would I do that? Look, Falcone heard Vinci's planning to make a move on him because Clementi lied and said he was in the dope business. Lied? Vito, Carlo Falcone is in the dope business. Everybody knows that. Clemente tried to muscle his way into the business, so Falcone got rid of him. Now he wants to get rid of us, too, before we make a move on him. How do you know all this? I got my sources. Why did you come here again? Why? What, what are you getting senile on me? Because they're gonna kill you. Stop talking for Christ's sake. Get dressed and let's go. Why don't we just get rid of whoever Carlos sent to whack me? We got the advantage. They don't know we're expecting. I can't do that. I know the guy. I'm actually the one who got him the job. What? You hired your friend to whack me? No, not exactly. Look, I don't have time to explain. He's gonna be here any minute. Okay, wait here. I'll get dressed. Shit, too late. They're here. Oh, shit. And, and he took my banger car as well, the prick. What are we doing now? Escape with Leo, don't let Henry- Oh! Stealth! Bollocks. I don't know where we're going here, mate. Yo, it's your house, why don't you direct me? Can we escape out the window? Oh, we can! Nice one. Oh, what? What is the use of that? Can we jump over it? No. Mm. Oh, for fuck's sake. Easy, Henry. Put the gun down. And send the guys away. I'm gonna explain everything. Boys, wait for me outside. If I don't come out in a few minutes, come looking for me. Was that supposed to happen? Take a seat. What the hell is going on here? Look, Henry, Leo's a friend of mine, all right? He helped me out when I was in prison. He pretty much saved my life. And he's the reason I got made. Look, I didn't know he was gonna put a contract out on him. I had to warn him. You gotta understand. Yeah, but you gotta understand that I can't afford to screw this up. If I let Leo go, Falcone will think I fucked him on purpose and I'll have me killed. Damn it, Henry. I'm your friend here. I do the same thing for you and you know it. This has nothing to do with friendship, Vito. This is business. And if I screw up, I'm done. I can't let him go. I took a contract and I gotta finish the job. If you don't want to watch, you can leave. 
And don't worry about me. I won't tell anybody you were here. Look, Leo told me that all of this is because Falcone's into drugs. He's breaking the rules and he wants to get rid of anybody who knows about it. So what? The only people who aren't breaking those rules are Frank Vinci and Leo here. And those aren't the people who pay me. Guido, thanks for everything. But leave us now. I've had a long, good life. And it's not worth risking your neck to buy an old man a few more years. No, Leo. There's gotta be a way. Vito. Go. Oh, Leo. Sorry, Vito. I won't tell anybody you were here. Just make sure nobody sees you leave. Oh, balls. Where's a tissue when you need one? <laughs> I made a deal. I'm gonna disappear. There's nothing left for me in this town anyway since my wife passed. And I was planning to retire someplace warm anyway. Well, Drive first, Leo to the train station. Your friend I can do that. Mine. I'll get me over to the train station if you wouldn't mind. This town's been good to me. Now it's time to say goodbye. You gonna go there in your PJs? Damn right I am. I'd rather be alive in my pajamas than dead in a three-piece suit. That nah, makes sense. Thanks for everything, Vito. Just promise me that you're never gonna be as stupid as you were today. Risking your neck like this just to buy an old man a few more years. Enjoy your I vacation. just saved your life, you ungrateful bastard. All right, I think we'll keep this car now. It's looking quite nice. A bit of marks on it, but you pay for those kind of details, don't you? No, you're lying. What are you lying for, you bitch? All right, guys, you've got me. Well done. Frankie, what are you doing here? Vito, I don't know what to do. I can't go back home. I don't want to see him ever again. Oh, what happened? See who? Eric. Your husband, what? He, he drinks and he parties all the time. Whoa, and he... Does he hit you? I'm going to go and no, sort him out. But he's seeing somebody. I know he is. Does he hit you? Sometimes. Son of a bitch, I'll kill him. No, Vito, please don't hurt him. I just thought you could talk to him. He'll listen Where to is you. He? I don't know. He has a friend who lives on, on River Street. That's okay, usually okay. where right. he is. It's gonna be all right. All right, listen. Hey, hey. When you feel better, you go on home. I'll talk to Eric. That bastard doesn't come back today and apologize. You call me, but don't worry. I have a feeling he will. Okay, Vito. But please don't hurt him. Please. Don't worry. I'll go talk some sense into him, okay? <laughs> Using non-lethal force. All right, guys. I am gonna leave that one there. So thank you so much for watching. And I shall see you in the next video. Take it easy, guys. Bye-bye. No, that's a, that's a wall. Genius. I've got no grenades left. Oh, bollocks. Oh, he's on my side, you dickhead. What is that? Just a pea shooter. Oh, I've got no ammo. I need a gun. I need a gun. I need a gun. Give me a gun. Oh, jeez. That'll do. That'll just... He's on my... Oh, my. I'm so sorry, guys.